Question 146. A comparison of the volume of the filtrate formed per day with that of the urine released per day suggests that a total of approximately X percent of the filtrate is reabsorbed by the renal tubules. Here, X is 99, 39, 19, 59. Almost all of the glomerular filtrate, that is about 99 percent, is reabsorbed by renal tubules. The tubular epithelial cells in different segments of nephron would carry out reabsorption either by passive mechanisms or active mechanisms leading to maximum reabsorption. The substances for example which are reabsorbed actively in the renal tubules are glucose, amino acids, sodium ions etc whereas nitrogenous waste are reabsorbed by passive transport. Here the X in percentage would be option number 199. Correct answer is 1. Question 147. An autoimmune disorder of muscular system which affects the neuromuscular junction eventually leading to paralysis of skeletal muscle is myasthenia gravis, muscular dystrophy, tetany, osteoporosis. We have to identify an autoimmune disorder which affects the muscular system and could eventually lead to paralysis of skeletal system. And among the given options, myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disorder affecting the muscular system. In this autoimmune disorder, that is myasthenia gravis, the antibodies are formed against acetylcholine receptors. The body recognizes these receptors as foreign and thus start attacking their own receptors, that is acetylcholine receptors, leading to their destruction, thus affecting the muscular system and the movement. Option number two, muscular dystrophy. This is a genetic disorder in which the synthesis of dystrophin is affected. In muscular dystrophy, degeneration of skeletal muscles is seen. Option number three, tetany. Tetany occurs in hypocalcemia and osteoporosis is due to loss of mineral content of the bone. The correct answer is option number one, myasthenia gravis. Question 149, the ions which stimulate the fusion of synaptic vesicles with presynaptic membrane are phosphate ions, hydrogen ions, calcium ions, magnesium ions. For transmission of the nerve impulse, the calcium ions diffuse into the axon terminal from the surrounding fluid and this happens because of opening of the voltage gated calcium channels. These calcium ions act as second messengers and stimulate the fusion of synaptic vesicles with presynaptic membrane shown in yellow here. Thus the ions which play an important role in the fusion of synaptic vesicles with the presynaptic membrane are calcium ions. The correct answer would be option number three, calcium ions. Question number 150, match the given hormones with their chief target structure or organ of action. Hormones are given as A, B, C and D on left side whereas their target structure or organ of action are given on the right side. Hormones are aldosterone, cortisol, FSH, adrenaline. Targets are blood vessels, gonads, kidney, liver. Let's try to identify the target structure or organ of action of these given hormones. Aldosterone is a mineralocorticoid and its main role is in electrolyte and water balance. And this is achieved by its action on kidney. So A goes with 3. Option B, cortisol. Cortisol helps to raise the blood glucose level and this happens due to glycogenolysis that is breakdown of glycogen which is stored in the liver. B goes with 4 that is liver. Option C, FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. This acts on gonads. Goes with 2. Hormone given in D, adrenaline 
its adrenaline acts on blood vessels it constricts the skin and visceral muscle capillaries whereas it dilates the arterioles of the heart and skeletal muscles so d goes with 1 the combination of 3 4 2 1 is with option number 2 Thus, that is the right answer. Correct answer is two.